Okay, what we're going to do now is show you the router plate in action. And as we've said uh, previously, the track system coupled with the router, what it does exceptionally well is it does straight line routing. Uh, so if we wanted to cut a groove in the, in the edge of this, a rabbit, so that we could recess in a back, uh, trying to do that freehand or with any kind of other guide can be difficult. Data is right on down the line. So what we've done here is we've kept the quarter inch bit in there. And there's a couple notches on the side. And what those notches do is they line you directly up with the router bit. So it takes the guesswork out of where's the bit. So what we can do is simply take and bring this forward and just center the uh, edge of the board up in those notches if you want a half a cut. Or in this case, we want the full quarter inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and go right out to the edge. Now, the track system is designed to stick in place. And it does that well with the saw because your pressure is down. However, with the router, you've got some down pressure and you've got a lot of side pressure. So what we have done is we have introduced a toggle clamp system. And how this works is really very simple. This slides into the bottom, and so you bring this over to see where you want to line up at. And everything is just where we want it at right there. Then you simply take your toggle and slide it into one of the connector grooves on the bottom and lock it down. Now at that point, you don't need a lot of pressure. We're locked in place and ready to go. And we're going to slide down here to the other end. And we are going to repeat that process. And again, we're going to slip a toggle clamp in there and make sure that everything is locked down and ready to go. Just like that. So there's our setup. Now we're going to make that cut half the thickness of our board. And since this is a fairly thin board to start off with, we'll just go ahead and make that adjustment in one pass. Obviously you want to use whatever the router tells you to do as far as depth of cut and the router bit manufacturer. And here we go. And just that easily, we're able to come in there and with that kind of control, cut a quarter inch, in this case, rabbit. And uh, from setup to completion, took how long? So if you want to make it easier, do it the true track way. Thanks. Okay, now once we have got the rabbit cut on the back side, our next step would be to cut a dado cross grain with a bigger bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap out to a bigger bit here. And when you do that, you're going to enlarge the hole where the router bit goes through the plate and that's perfectly okay. You're then going to use your notches. Let's say that we're going to put a half inch piece through here. You're going to take your notches and you're going to line them up in the, to the center of those dados. Now one of the sweetest things about doing a router with plywood shelving and, and dados for plywood shelving is that plywood is a 64th of an inch undersized. And it's a real bear to set a set of dado blades up on a table saw for that. You can buy router bits that are designed specifically to do a half inch or a quarter or a three eighths inch or three quarter inch dado for plywood. So take advantage of those and uh, your life will just be a whole lot simpler. What I like to do half inch, half inch lumber, and then face it off with a three quarter inch solid piece.